guys and welcome back to another video tutorial here at Rachel Productions. You're watching Volumetric Light from a Window series and this is part 4. Um, we're working of course on Blender Cycles 2.7 but this is 2.7.5 a test build uh, release. Uh, you'll remember in part 3 when we finished off uh, we had something like this and I said to you we were now going to improve on this window because it looks very flat and unrealistic and uh, yeah that's basically what we're going to be doing today let's just recap what we had done so far okay what I've done is I've re uh, I've remodeled everything so if it looks a bit different uh, please bear with me but the reason is as I said with Blender 2.7 uh, the, the initial uh, release, um, things were getting corrupted, I was losing data on my objects, they weren't being rendered, and my shaders weren't working properly. So if you're having the same problem, I highly recommend downloading this uh, test release or further releases after that, um, because there's always bugs which need to be uh, ironed out and so on. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I've deleted all the other setups there and uh, as you remember we had uh, our uh, volumetric beam coming down from from our skylight over here volumetric beam onto the ground and we also had um, created within our skylight box here another box with an area lamp inside a uh, strength of about 50 uh, obviously um, shining through the box which had an aperture which we had created there and in that aperture we had placed the fake burglar bar well, the, well it is a real burglar bar but to create the uh, shadow on the ground and then the uh, real burglar bar which is visible in the skylight okay uh, when we finished off, I had um, placed a plane over here, an emission plane, which I have now named Volumetric Glow. And um, we had used the Solidify modifier. And I had said to you we could fool the, uh, the um, emission shader with the volumetric node uh, by pressing uh, 0 or entering 0. However, uh, now that I think the data has been correctly entered, it, it doesn't actually work. You'll notice there's this triangular uh, problem here within that um, shader there. It, it renders with, uh, with the problem if you press, uh, if you make that thickness zero. So what you need to do is uh, always just make sure that you have um, metric selected. If you click up here in your properties, click on metric and then um, you can actually uh, know exactly what sort of thickness you're working with um, and if you press if you create one and you press uh, um that's a micrometer uh, it's one thousandth of a millimeter i think it is yeah um so that that just works fine i mean you can go thicker but obviously it's going to then uh, become a problem as you just see there um, let's just go back to one micrometer, so that works fine. Uh, you also will notice that on the uh, previous version, or the new version of Blender 2.7, if you rotate the um, plane around the x-axis, you flip it over in other words, sometimes when you do that you'll notice a different rendering and so on. So I think they've ironed out those problems, um, unless there's something with my system, I'm not sure. Um, I just neaten things up a little bit. I've uh, placed the burglar bomb or in the center there, and I've also put everything on different layers. Uh, I've put the light on this layer here. Um, we've got the uh, camera on the second layer there, and the props on the uh, fifth layer, I think it is, yes, and so on. And then lastly, we've got the beam. Well, that's actually on the first layer of that next row there. Uh, as that's also lights. Um, I'll be doing a tutorial on layers uh, shortly, hopefully, how to manage your layers with uh, this kind of thing. Okay, now if you press the uh, top left uh, button or key on your keyboard, you can select all of your layers quite easily, and uh, then you can just deselect the camera. 
Okay. Um, right, so let's just uh, have a look. Uh, this, uh, let's just put up our manipulator widget, pressing control and spacebar. If we move that uh, emission glow plane, uh, it still renders quite nicely there, so our burglar bar is behind that. But that's not going to really be good enough um, for us. We, we want to actually put a plane of glass there with a bit of reflection to it and so on. Um, this is just going to be creating our light source as it were. And we can place it uh, up there more or less. Okay. Now, we need to add our uh, plane of glass. So let's do that. I'm going into top mode. Uh, top view, sorry. And I'm going to... Um, just select, uh, yeah, just select something there, and um, I'm going to take that away. Uh, press uh, Shift S, and I'm going to say cursor to select it, so that when I add my uh, plane, it'll be there. Let me just deselect this box, pressing A, and uh, Shift A will bring up that plane menu there. I'm going to scale that down. Great, and um, let me bring up control space bar, that'll bring up the manipulator. This now will be our glass, and um, for the glass I'm not going to use the solidify modifier, I'm going to extrude that plane. So let me do that, pressing tab, pressing E, and then pressing uh, Z, and then I'm using the down arrow just to bring that there. Um, the thickness of this is quite important. If you make it too, um, uh, let's go into here. Yeah, if, if you make it too thick, it 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 doesn't really work very nicely. So I'm just going to use my up arrow, pressing tab, and using the up arrow now. Tab, uh, pressing G, and then the the up arrow. Right. Um, yeah, for now that should be okay. So you can see the the plane there with thickness, but uh, let's just get rid of the this uh, beam here. Sorry, people. Uh, let's just move this to this layer over here. That's where everything else is. And then I'm going to deselect um, my uh, layer with the beam on it. Okay, so we've got the the plane of glass there. And obviously it's not transparent, so we can't uh, see through it. So we're going to create some material for that. So let's just click on materials and pressing new. And we're going to change this. Instead of deleting this, by the way, going through cutting that off and deleting it and then adding, you can actually just go into your node uh, manager here. And clicking on that, you can just change it to emission. Or whatever. Now, in this case, we're going to uh, change it to transparent. There it is. Okay, and then we're not going to work with volume, obviously, so we're going to leave that into uh, surface. And I'm going to add now a uh, mix shader, which I'll plonk down there, pressing Shift A each time to bring up the menu. And then I'm going to add in a add shader. Right, the add shader is going to be used between here. Okay, because I'm going to now add a, another shader which is the glass shader. Okay, and I'm going to pop that in there. Alright, so now it is working, it's transparent. Uh, but what I want to do is actually add some gloss to it. Um, a little bit of gloss just to get extra reflections so I'm going to shift A again and I'm going to select glossy BSDF I'm going to pop that in there alright so now that's not looking too bad we're starting to see some reflections from from that burglar bar behind um, and uh, what we're going to actually do though is swap these around I want the burglar bar in the front and I want the glass behind. So I'm going to prop that up there and I'm going to bring that down there. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to do is add a window frame. 
because if we're looking at that now obviously we need a window frame and also don't worry about this section here that that's the aperture that we're seeing remember through the box with the light coming through where the fake burglar bar is we can fiddle with certain things for instance um, if I select this emission glow plane here um, we, we can add the transmission remove the transmission um, but we'll still be seeing some of that uh, we'll sort that out later don't worry uh, because we're going to be changing things a little bit alright so let's just go ahead and I'm um, going into top view now I'm going to say shift S to bring my cursor to the selected uh, position there which is more or less in the center I've been eyeballing this so uh, <laughs> things are not properly lined up but um, this should be fine and then I'm going to go into um, this uh, layer here and I'm going to press shift A to bring up the plane I'm going to scale it down and then just check I'm uh, sorry just check the size of that uh, let's get rid of the plant and we'll scale this down to match the skylight aperture there we'll bring it slightly out because I'm going to add more uh, parts to that uh, plane there so let's just do that I'm going to go into tab mode and control R uh, to bring up loop cut move the mouse so that you get a horizontal cut I'm going to just eyeball it again and pressing enter usually is what I do and we'll bring another cut over here and then control R you should get a horizontal if you bring it to the side it'll bring that up and control R another horizontal cut say about there select A go into front view uh, or side view depending on how you've orientated your scene and we'll press E and we'll bring use the down arrow on the keyboard and that should be fine now let's have a look uh, yeah okay so we will give this a name straight away it's good to get into the habit um, window frame and uh, while we are about it we will bring up the widget and drag it down to over here Okay, and now what we need to do <laughs> is actually um, delete the central face by selecting it, delete face and the second one as well because we had extruded this. Okay, so that's fine, looking not too bad. Um, okay, I'm just going to also name this plane as glass plane so that we don't get confused All right we'll give this a material uh, we'll give it a material we'll call it green paint uh, we could have uh, textured it and give it some wooden texture but uh, we don't want to go into all that right now okay that should be fine and um, I'm just going to bring it down even further uh, oh, bring it to about there hmm. okay I'm going to also bring this uh, burglar bar out a bit more so that it uh, it looks as if the burglar bar is in the wooden frame there so let's just drag it up a bit Yeah. right and going into that view again everything's fine there all right um, the glass frame plane should be in the window frame as well and we should just center it a little bit more dragging it across there uh, yeah that should be fine now one thing one has to realize with glass um, with the glass shader is that the refractive index, index of refraction IR, uh, affects the way the light is bent 
and so what happens is um, when you're looking through the window from the side it, the light has passed through this glass it's it's refracted and um, it makes this uh, plane appear smaller so you find that this edge here is is appearing as though it ends earlier than it does and that's because it's smaller so we have to actually go into top view and just enlarge that uh, emission glow there and that sorts that out pulls it all the way in to the edges there okay right so it's starting to take shape um, now I'm going to show you how dramatically the uh, material of the burglar bar changes everything okay at the moment we've just got a diffuse shader now if I add another node pressing shift A and we're going to insert the uh, shader here, volume shader, glossy shader I'm going to then add the mix shader node and we pop that in there <coughs> you can see immediately how nicely that uh, lifts out and it starts looking more realistic um, <coughs> excuse me I'm going to change the uh, amount of glossiness little bit so you can decide how much uh, if we go into this view here um, take a closer look if I increase the glossiness then obviously the side facing us um, is a little bit brighter you may want it a bit darker it's up to you I'm gonna leave it about there it should be fine and you'll notice that there's a bit of black showing so the skylight is uh, still showing through the, the edge of the aperture the window frame is a little bit too uh, wide there so we're going to scale that pressing S and uh, X and we'll just scale that in till that black disappears there and then we need to scale it along the Y axis this is the Y axis here so let's just do that um, scale along Y till that uh, aperture is closed and it's a good idea sometimes also just to um, deselect that and add a point lamp um, even if it's bright it just helps to uh, see what's going on in the shadows here. You can see here that that's still a little bit wide. There's a black line there. So let's narrow that frame along the x axis, S and X. Um, and also our window frame, our burglar bar can be made a little bit smaller. And of course our glass to fit. Um, we will delete that lamp again and now we have to adjust our uh, mesh here going to median point here it's median point. okay guys we've finished with part four of this tutorial uh, basically setting up the window and in part five we will be creating the uh, appearance of the outdoor scene through the window and I will also be showing you some other settings which will be required see you next time